What's your minimum specification? Um, what do you think your biggest achievement or development in the semiconductor industry? What do, you, what do I think is the biggest achievement or development in the past 10 to 15 years? EV. EV or FinFET. Um, I really like would like to do a deep dive into ASML, the company who makes the EUV machines, and uh, Sima, who makes some of the optics as well. Um, I have an open invitation to go visit their factory in Wilton, Connecticut, but I can't take that up because um, of the travel restrictions. But yeah, it's ASML is doing fine work. They have a very nice monopoly, um, but their big three investors are Intel, TSMC, and Samsung. So. Yeah, I, th I, I think EUV, because I mean, EUV has been talked about for decades. The fact that it's actually now working and we have a roadmap um, from uh, low NA optics to high NA optics, um, you know, and pushing through the 5, 3, 2, 1.4 nanometer by the end of uh, 20, uh, 2020s. Um, yeah. I think I'd have to put EUV. Just, you know, the five second thought, EUV. Um, the best story is Linus saying, Dr. Cutrus. Yes, I know he does that. Um, he does like to tell the story of how we first met and how I was a complete dick to him. Because um, I told him he should call me by my name. Um, yeah, I, I want to say I was joking. I was probably not. I was very young and naive. Um, I kind of d d really didn't know who he is. I think he's glad that I introduced myself to him in that way, even though I'm pretty sure I was a dick and I've apologized profusely since. Um, Peter um, Jansen, at least the Netherlands plays a big role in technology too with ASML. Yeah. So a uh, question about ASML, people, um, people say, well, why does the US have so much control over ASML selling its stuff to TSMC and uh, SMIC in China? Um, one of ASML's biggest factories is based in Wilton, Connecticut. Uh, I mentioned it earlier. This is the one that I want to go visit. Um, also, uh, Sima, one of the subsidiaries for the optics, is a US-based subsidiary, so it's all swings and roundabouts. Um, any contacts at IBM? Yes. Anything interesting they're doing at the moment? Um, my one reg regret from Hot Chips this year was not spending more time on um, Power and Z. Um, I, one big thing that IBM... Uh, I, IBM's Z architecture is just crazy anyway. Um, you know, I, I would love to get hold of those chips. Um, and if you've ever seen some of the stuff that IBM used to do, um, I, th I think, um, uh, was it Steve at EV blog? Um, oh, I'm blanking on his first name. Uh, he recently did a unboxing of a really, really old, uh, IBM processor. And that was just amazing. I, I, I literally want to like call him up and say, you know, can I just have that to put in the background of my video? Um, but, uh, IBM, uh, the, so the, um, open capy memory interface, what that, what they're doing on that is really interesting because it's basically a Surdy's link that you can convert, um, into memory or storage or additional connectivity. Dave Jones. There we go. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Dave, Dave on the EV blog. That's so, but IBM open memory, open capy memory interface. Unfortunately, I don't, it won't go anywhere outside of IBM, but, um, if, 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 if say Intel produced a server CPU that instead of memory controllers, it had an OEM, o, OMI interface that could either take HBM, uh, DDR, GDDR, um, or it could use for, um, uh, CPU to CPU links. Um, or it could use be used for additional storage, or it could be used for, you know, extending out. I think um, I think the latest power CPUs can do um, crazy amounts of terabytes of memory. So yeah, I would love to do that. Um, I, I I would love if o OMI was more in the industry. Um, but yeah, definitely look at OMI if you're interested. Um, I think um, a retired engineer on Twitter is also really interested in in OMI. Hats off to all of you. Thank you for subscribing. I thank thanks to everyone who's stayed with me through this whole stream. What's your minimum specification? <laughs> I don't know how I thought of that when I recorded that segment.